What is going on, everybody? Welcome back to the Cosmic Wonder. I'm your host, Warren, and today, Jonathan Majors faced his sentencing for the two cases of assault and harassment that he was found guilty of months ago. Now, recently, each film that I've been doing on Kang the Conqueror, not about Jonathan Majors, but specifically Kang the Conqueror, each video I've been doing has been getting a lot of comments with people wanting Jonathan Majors back as Kang. Even though Jonathan Majors was found guilty, there are still some people out there who believe that he was actually innocent and that the trial gave the wrong outcome. However, regardless of what you think, the court has decided the outcome, and he has been found guilty, and he is now facing his sentencing, which he received today. Now, for those supporters of Jonathan Majors, there is some good news, but of course, there is also some bad news. With the good news for the Jonathan Majors supporters, it looks like he is not going to be serving any jail time. This morning, the court did decide that he is not going to prison, and this is his first offense, so that does make sense. We'll go more into the sentencing in just a bit, but of course, the big question is, is he completely done, not just playing King the Conqueror, but from Hollywood in general? His lawyer, Priya Chaudhary, stated this morning that this case has completely destroyed his career. After he was found guilty, but before the sentencing, Jonathan Majors went on Good Morning America and stated that he hopes this isn't the end of his career, he hopes people can forgive him, and he does plan on returning. But the question is, will Hollywood let him return? Will anyone hire him now after everything that has happened? So we'll break down his sentencing and the future future of Kang the Conqueror in the Marvel Cinematic Universe in this video. And if you're a Marvel fan and you want to stay up to date on the MCU, be sure to subscribe to the channel so you don't miss out on any of the latest news. We're also giving away an Xbox Series X and PS5. All you got to do to enter is subscribe to the channel, leave a comment down below. We pick one winner at the end of each month and the winner picks one item. Now it really is unfortunate that this whole entire situation happened. Whether you believe Grace Jabari or you believe Jonathan Majors, the whole situation sucks. If Grace Jabari is telling the truth and she was assaulted, that is terrible. If she was lying and Jonathan Majors Major's career is done because of that, that is terrible. It all sucks, but of course it comes down to what the court says. And like I mentioned this morning, they have determined his sentencing. The charges against him, which are a misdemeanor and a violation, carried a sentence of up to one year in prison. Going into this, the prosecutors asked for a sentence of domestic violence programming with a six months jail alternative if Majors failed to complete programming, as well as a full order of protection for Grace Jabari. Well, like I mentioned with his sentencing, he is not going to be doing any prison time, but they did sentence him to a 52 week domestic violence intervention program. And according to The Hollywood Reporter, the 52-week sentencing is due to take place in person in Los Angeles and the full order of protection was granted against Grace Jabari. Majors must continue with mental health counseling and therapy and provide the court with updates on treatment with his first compliance date on September 13th. If he is not compliant, Judge Michael Gaffey said Majors could face up to 364 days in jail on the misdemeanor. Just shy one day of a year, and there's a very particular reason they do that, but we're not going to get into that. But here's the kicker. Here's what his lawyer had to say when sentenced with his serving. They said if it was possible to conduct some sessions virtually, saying we're optimistic that Mr. Majors will work in the film industry again soon. Which is very interesting to hear because right when he was found guilty, Marvel Studios dropped him. Before he was even found guilty, he was dropped from a lot of other things as well, such as his management and PR company. But obviously, Jonathan Majors has spent his life trying to be an actor. He was successful. It's unfortunate that this whole situation happened, but it makes sense that he would try to continue on being an actor in the film industry. But of course, the big question here is, if he continues on and plans to be an actor, will he return as King the Conqueror in the MCU. Well, the court has decided he is guilty and now he is serving the sentence and whether or not you believe he is actually innocent in all of this, the court has ruled that he's not. And Marvel Studios actually did a really great thing. They didn't fire him when all of this went down. They stuck with innocent until proven guilty. The second he was found guilty, that's when they fired him, not a second sooner than that. So they waited until it was official, which means he probably isn't going to be rehired. A lot of people were wondering, well, what if he appeals and he ends up winning? Well, Jonathan Majors did say that he was going to appeal, but it hasn't happened yet. And especially since he's had the sentencing now, I don't think it's really going to matter. Now, I have spoken to several insiders and I've tried to speak to sources myself and none of them could give me a confirmation, but none of them have heard that Jonathan Majors will be returning. They have heard that Marvel Studios wants to continue on with the villain Kang the Conqueror, but there have been no talks about bringing back Jonathan Majors 
for that role. Again, they're not saying that Marvel Studios said no way, but they basically said Jonathan Majors' name is not mentioned anymore. When it comes to Kang the Conqueror in the MCU, his name is completely out of the equation and they are going to recast. Despite Jonathan Majors' lawyer stating that they are optimistic that Mr. Majors will work in the film industry again soon, this might simply just be optimism. This doesn't mean that there is something down the line that Jonathan Majors is going to appear in that is already confirmed. It doesn't mean there's movie makers out there who have decided that despite whatever happened, Jonathan Majors can still work on their project. But perhaps they are very hopeful that once he starts to serve his sentence, people will see that he's going through with it, people will see that he's sorry, people will see that he's trying to grow, and hopefully rehire him again. His lawyer did state this, that Mr. Majors is committed to growing as a person and will complete the court-mandated programs with an open heart, even as he maintains his innocent and plans to appeal. So perhaps there is some hope in the fact that Jonathan Majors is still planning on appealing. But again, Again, the question comes back to, even if he wins the appeal, would Marvel Studios take him back? Could he resume playing Kang the Conqueror? Again, based off of what I've heard and what the industry has said via some insiders, it doesn't really seem like it. It seems like they are going to move forward with recasting Kang the Conqueror. And here's the thing, Marvel is on a timeline. They're going to begin filming Avengers 5, and whether that's just a new Avengers film at this point or still Avengers the Kang Dynasty, that's going to start filming in 2025, next year. They can't exactly wait. They have a little bit of time, but not a lot. And if it is true that they're going to continue on with Kang the Conqueror as their main villain of the MCU, which many insiders have said that is the case, then they really need to get on the recasting. They don't really have time to wait. So unfortunately, it doesn't seem like Jonathan Majors will be coming back as Kang the Conqueror because Marvel Studios needs to recast Kang right now. Although I would state Marvel Studios did wait till it was determined that he was officially guilty. So their decision was based off of what the courtroom did decided. Maybe if the court decides that he is indeed innocent, they would consider taking him back and maybe he could return as another variant of Kang. It's possible, but I think at this point in time, Marvel Studios is simply looking to move on. And from what we've heard recently, Coleman Domingo is the top choice for Kang the Conqueror. There hasn't been much new news about this recently, but this is the last report that we heard that they were eyeing Coleman Domingo. Coleman Domingo also confirmed that his team did talk to him about a role at Marvel Studios recently. He played coy about it, but he did confirm they did have that talk. And since then, it's been a couple of months. So maybe since then, he has gone to Marvel Studios and has had that talk with Kevin Feige. A lot of people do seem to be in favor of Coleman Domingo replacing Jonathan Majors. He's a very talented actor, and I personally think that he would do a very good job as well. But go ahead and let me know what you think about this in the comments down below. Would you like Coleman Domingo as a replacement cast for King the Conqueror? And if John Jonathan Majors appeals and ends up being found innocent, do you think Marvel Studios should take him back and do you think he should get another chance at playing Kang the Conqueror in the MCU? Let me know your thoughts in the comments down below and please don't forget to like the video and subscribe to the channel so you can stay up to date on all the latest MCU news. You can find us on Instagram, Twitter, Apple Podcasts, and Spotify and as always, thank you all so much for watching. Woof woof.